Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. In today's lesson, we're gonna be going over what is a thermocouple and how does it work. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumperman Tech and let's get straight into it. Thermocouples may be used to measure temperature or to operate controls. The principle of operation depends on many facts. A thermocouple is made up of two dissimilar metals, such as copper and iron, which are connected together. When the point where these two metals meet are heated, a voltage is produced. This specific thermocouple has an output of 30 millivolts. So what this does is that this device actually generates electricity when it is heated. A multiple thermocouple installation can generate as much as 500 millivolts there to operate special solenoids. These will operate gas valves and equipment such as boilers or furnaces in the HVAC industry. A thermocouple is also used as a safety device to shut off a gas supply if the pilot light is extinguished. A pilot assembly is typically what you would see with units using natural gas. Here is our pilot burner assembly. So here we can see is our thermocouple. Right here is our burner. The silver tubing is our pilot tubing. The thermocouple has a copper tubing. That's how you know the difference. And over here we have this small nut. This is a retaining nut. And inside here we have a small orifice. Here's the opposite end of the pilot tubing. As you can see, there's a small pinhole. And that's going to be similar to what you're going to see on the opposite end of the tubing at the burner. That is our orifice. It's just a small passageway for our gas to flow. Here are the ends of both the pilot tubing and the thermocouple. These both have brass connections that get screwed onto the gas valve. The gas valve might have a component which creates a spark at the pilot burner by depressing a button, or the burner is lit manually with a match or so while the gas valve is physically held open for the pilot. After a predetermined amount of time being heated, the thermocouple will generate voltage where it will be able to hold open a combination gas valve for the pilot tubing proving we have experienced combustion. Once that temperature is reached, the technician can let go of the gas valve manually and the thermocouple will do it automatically and a steady pilot flame can be established. The thermocouple is used to verify the pilot is lit. So we're going to go over this one last time in simple terms. So what we're looking for is to establish our pilot flame. So once our pilot is established, we're gonna have a flame coming out of the burner section right here, as there's gonna be gas flowing through this tubing, through this orifice, so then it can create a flame. This flame is gonna be heating up our thermocouple, and after a certain amount of time, we're actually gonna generate voltage. And this thermocouple can generate 30 millivolts. That 30 millivolts will travel through this copper tubing and it's actually gonna travel to the combination gas valve. Both the burner with the pilot tubing and a the thermocouple are attached to the combination gas valve. So once this generates enough millivolts, which is 30 millivolts in this case, it's gonna be able to send that voltage to the combination gas valve and hold open a solenoid allowing gas to flow. And that's basically how this works. If the thermocouple would ever fail, it would then close that solenoid, not allowing gas to flow through so that we don't keep feeding gas into the space, which can be a hazard. Natural gas is very dangerous and proper procedures must be followed for everyone's safety. And if anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time.